Hi Charmers and Stylers, it's Mobile Styles App here. If you're looking to level up your skincare regimen, our makeup and soon to be esthetician pro Alicia from Tampa, Florida is sure to inspire and influence you to be better about how you treat your skin. That's why she's featured in this week's Nationwide Pro Spotlight. Check out this clip from her interview to get to know her a little bit more. Meet Alicia. What is one of your most kept beauty secrets? I have fallen in love with using honey as a face wash. I know that sounds funny. <laughs> I've never heard of that before, but I'm intrigued. Um, I make a mask with honey and then I also use it as an actual face wash. It's not just any honey. It has to be the one that's unfiltered, raw, still has some of the bacteria in it. Okay. And it's because it's good bacteria and that good bacteria is good for your skin. It helps to get rid of the bad bacteria. The crystals in there actually helps with exfoliation. From what I understand, a special type of honey, Manuka honey, mm -hmm. and that one's in Australia, that one actually helps to heal wounds. And so I'm an acne sufferer. Oh, me too. So I can yeah. relate. <laughs> I noticed putting it on, my skin would heal just so quickly. That's so interesting. Okay, now I really want to try that. <laughs> I would let you know how that goes. So since you've been in the beauty industry for eight, nine years, how has the beauty industry changed since you first began working and studying? I didn't really see the beauty influencers that much. Like they were just now starting like it wasn't that big of a thing that's the thing that i've noticed the vlogging with youtube instagram that's the biggest changes that i'm seeing one of my favorite youtubers robert welsh and i agree with him on this part of the issue that people are having is with uh, a lot of the instagram makeup artists and stuff like that they're not really makeup artists they're people who love makeup they're mu makeup enthusiasts mm -hmm. and they're doing the makeup on them and then they're trying to do the same makeup on them on other people People. or they're using extra lighting and then the when you go to actually see them in person you can tell that they have tons of makeup on it's not a natural thing and so those were the things I can see what he was saying it's a definite difference in makeup oh yeah and the Kardashians helped us change things too <laughs> I low-key love them so. <laughs> I love these Kardashians I love that you had that <laughs> I would say that they are probably one of the biggest changes to the cosmetic world. I completely agree with you there. So what kind of influenced you to join the Mobile Styles app? What was interesting is as I was finishing up school, I kept thinking about the whole facial thing. Like, huh, I wonder what it would be like if I was going around to my clients and doing their facials there. And I think I was just looking at the whole COVID world going on. Like, how would that work? And then while I was on Indeed, this came up. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I had been thinking about. <laughs> That is such an amazing concept. Be able to be in your house, relax, get your makeup done, get a facial, like get some treatments and you don't have to run out to some place and you're in the comfort of your own home. Yeah, and that's I why we love it because it's just so easy for the clients. And then how was your process of joining the app? I felt it was quite simple. And I remember I'm signing up, I'm on the phone and we're going through the whole process and I'm learning the app with someone who knows how to use the app. I love the whole fact that I was help through the app and I didn't have to press buttons and figure it out by myself. Okay, great. I'm glad you had a really great experience because our onboarding team really does work hard to make sure all the pros feel welcomed and <laughs> confident in how to use the app. So what advice would you give three beauty do's and don'ts? Oh, I love that. I love that. One beauty don't that I definitely have, and this should be universal, wash that makeup off your face before the night is over and do not use makeup wipes. I guess that's my second one. <laughs> I love the makeup wipes. They're just so no. Makeup wipes because they actually they're moving the makeup around in your face it's not really taking it all off and the fibers on it is not really great you like you're just like rubbing scrubbing your skin and it's not good for the environment either Ooh. okay so what do i use instead you can use any type of oil like grapeseed oil jojoba oil oils are amazing it helps to break down the makeup especially around the eyes and stuff and you can use that as you're cleansing and make that like what we would call you like your first cleanse and then you want to cleanse afterwards with like a gel cleanser or something like that okay. something liquidy watery to help get the residue off okay i'm gonna go get some grapeseed oil after this <laughs> yes. don't use the makeup wipes i'm trying to think of one more don't oh because we're in the covid climate which has to do with the mask it's not a great idea to really wear makeup up under the mask because mm -hmm. your mask coats and bacteria which is not good and the acne ends up being different it's not even bacterial acne it's like a fungal acne 
Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> if you're like me, who has to wear the mask all day, don't wear that same mask every day. It has to be clean every day. Because I've seen some people, they're like wearing the same thing every day. And I'm like, ooh, you gonna break out. Oh, another beauty tip, your pillow. If you have acne prone skin, like I do, you want to make sure the stuff that's touching your face because of how bacteria works, you want to make sure that they're kept clean as much as possible. So you want to make sure you're changing your pillowcases like once a week, cleaning your phone daily with some alcohol because all of that will help to break out your skin. And we don't want those things to happen. No, we don't. That's a do. I do have a few do's. Do do the double quick. Even on a regular day, you want to wash your face twice. You could use either the same cleanser or have two different cleansers. It all depends on what your face needs. I have been very dedicated getting my skin clear. Well, it shows because your face looks so clean and glowy. No bumps, no nothing. So you're doing it right. You're doing something right. And it looks fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking your tips. I promise. I am. So what is one health or beauty service that I Everybody needs to try and why. So when I started going to school to be an esthetician, my teacher sets it up where all the girls has to have at least one spa session before we start learning about it. They perform a service for the new girls. And that was my first time having someone do a facial on me. I usually would just like wash my face. I was doing my facials on me. Even though it's like not really doing anything like treatment wise, it is such an experience. And I feel like everybody should experience it at least once. And you don't even have to worry about going to a regular spa. A lot of the schools, like prices for it are so much cheaper than a regular spa would. So if someone can't afford it, look for a school. The prices are usually cheaper. That's so nice. Wow. <laughs> You need to have at least one spa facial. It's very relaxing. They're massaging the face, which is really good for your muscles up under your face. They're properly cleansing it. After that, they'll even explain to you what you need for your face and your skin like to really continue the, the beauty that you already started. Great tip. <laughs> And last question, how would you describe to another beautician the benefits of joining Mobile Styles as a pro on our app? The biggest thing that shouted out to me was the fact that I got to set my schedule. And I love that I'm a single mom. I still need to be able to control my schedule a little bit more. Yeah. Being able to set that schedule, that is really important, especially if you're a parent, even a student, like you're able to really mold what you need done. I love the flexibility. I also love the idea that even though it's within mobile styles essentially still my own independent business it's still my name that allows me to really understand how the business side of this works that's great that you really take advantage of that opportunity and service that we offer well that's all the questions i had today thank you so much for everything thank you i enjoyed all of this it was awesome i loved it remember to check out the official blog post featuring alicia and her nightly skincare routine as well as our other featured pros make sure you check out our nationwide pro spotlight video series every Wednesday. For daily updates, follow our Instagram at Mobile Styles app. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Remember to turn on your notifications so you don't miss our next video. See you next Wednesday. Until then, stay charming and stylish. Bye!